first things first, we spoke about uh, like uh, the expenses. So how much is the annual fees for the university? Annual fee for both general medicine and dental medicine is 3,100 euro. But as I was there and I could see like the passion and uh, of the of the teachers and of the uh, teaching staff, also uh, basically everything was freshly renovated, maybe in better state, which I can uh, compare even with uh, other faculties in Europe. Most of the agencies are mostly aiming for their profits, but uh, you need a holistic guide who guides you without concerning his profits, more about like which is good for your career based on your budget, based on your uh, professional goals. Hello and welcome to MedHead, your medical study guide in Europe. We make videos about studying medicine in Europe in general, uh, in different countries, uh, study exchanges, programs, transfers, credits, paperwork and everything. And today we have Mr. Peter with us. Thank you Mr. Peter for joining the video. Thank you very much. He's expert in all these paperwork, uh, student transfers, uh, and also like consultations with students, uh, choosing the university, he will guide you in and out. His uh, contact will be uh, in the description. So do contact him if you're planning to study or if you know someone who's planning to study. Uh, and today, without further ado, let's jump in our video. We are going to speak about um, a very interesting and amazing country, Bosnia, and studying medicine in Bosnia. Uh, Mr. Peter, uh, what's the university and faculty that we are uh, going to uh, like discuss in the video? Today, we will discuss one of the most uh, affordable uh, medical faculties in whole Europe, maybe even, I would say, Central Asia included. So we will speak about the Faculty of Medicine in Foča, which is part of the University of East Sarajevo in Bosnia. All right, uh, that's very interesting. And uh, first things first, we spoke about uh, like uh, the expenses. So how much is the annual fees for the university? Annual fee for both general medicine and dental medicine is 3,100 euro approximately. Wow. Even this amount you can pay in three installments. Wow. So that's amazing because generally inside European Union the fees lies from somewhere around 10,000 euros to like 30,000 euros a year. Uh, and here you can complete the complete degree in probably like less than 20,000. So uh, that's, uh, that's a very interesting. And uh, when we're speaking about expenses, let's stick to that first. So what about like living expenses, accommodation, all, all of these things in um, the city of Otsa? Yeah, so the university uh, constructed the dormitory, okay. which is not that far even by walk from the, uh, from the university campus. All right. Because there is a faculty next to it, this university hospital and then a uh, few minutes from there by even by walk like you can get to the dormitory so okay. they're really well established and uh, they are it's it it costs like one uh, 250 euros for one month okay. but included uh, three meals wow that's amazing and you were there personally right I was there in 2022 I met the Dean I met the wise Dean uh, we had some first students for the faculty and are satisfied um, with That's the quality amazing. and with the, with the teachers and environment. Yeah, so the affordability is one of the uh, first things about the university and uh, Bosnia in general. So um, uh, completing medical studies is like uh, super affordable, super good as well. And also it's very important that you know you study from a university which is recognized very well and established, has a history so that uh, you know like grow professionally. So what about the background, Mr. Peter, if you want to share some background about the university like uh, when it was established, rankings and so on. Mm -hmm. So university, first of all, it's important to mention that the university it's uh, outside of the EU. Uh, so it's not recognized uh, automatically. On another side, uh, after you complete, you can apply for uh, recognition in your home country. Even you are like eligible to go for the EU SMLE test. Okay. Uh, so the general medicine and dental medicine they both take uh, six uh, years. Okay. And uh, like ranking um, of the university uh, might not be like it's definitely not one of the best universities uh, worldwide uh, or in Europe. In terms of ranking. Uh, but as I was there and I could see like the passion and uh, of the of the teachers and of the. 
uh, teaching staff. Also, uh, basically everything was freshly renovated, maybe okay. in better state, which I can uh, compare even with uh, other faculties in Europe. Okay. Uh, so I can tell may might not be the history uh, of the university that long, might not be the ranking that high. Uh, however, uh, for example, it's recognized already by MCI, Medical Council of India, okay. same for the Bangladesh. But I like definitely you can uh, uh, study there if that's your passion. You can study mm -hmm. there theoretically, maybe later. Uh, I can imagine, for example, you can then maybe later uh, transfer to university in your home country if they have some free places. Yeah, or even practice in your home country as well. Or practice in your home country. So It's a part of the Erasmus Plus program, six years uh, degree with uh, 360 ECTS. So it's almost the same standard European education that you get everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Like students, they can go also for, as you said, uh, Erasmus Plus, uh, Horizon, Cepus, okay. and they have also many other uh, collaborating uh, universities in okay. Europe. And uh, speaking from like a competitive perspective, how many seats are offered in like um, general medicine and also dental medicine? And so uh, general medicine, they have 50 seats. Okay. This year they will open uh, fifth year. And dental medicine, they have 20 seats. Uh, this year they will open third year of the, because they started okay. relatively recently. So it's quite competitive. And uh, when it comes to competition, uh, how is the admission procedure looking like? Uh, how do we go mm -hmm. through that? So there is, there are two parts of the of your evaluation so firstly you need to submit your documents okay. so you submit the application form then you submit motivational letter and uh, passport and then also all your educational uh, documents so okay. high school but all uh, study years you need to cover Okay. okay. Uh, these documents needs to be apostille and in English or theoretically uh, Serbian, uh, and you pay 127 euros application fee. Okay. Uh, there are three dates uh, for the admission, uh, but for example, if they will fill in the capacity in July, then they will not do the so entrance. So first come, first serve basis. So try to get your application as fast as possible. Uh, it's uh, generally in the final year of high school that you need to make a decision. You need to, you know, like um, apply as early as possible to get your best shot, best chances as fast as possible in general. Yeah. And uh, what about the entrance exam? Do you have some details about like the structure and uh, how what's like the criteria to get in? Yeah, so fifty percent of your mark will be evaluated as uh, based on the high school results, okay. and then twenty percent uh, result from the biology, twenty percent from chemistry, and ten percent oral interview. So to get accepted, you need to get at least fifty one uh, percent. But uh, university also provides the uh, study materials for the entrance exam. Okay. So you can study nice. these materials and then like you uh, have better chances of getting accepted. That's amazing. Actually, this is uh, really something I like that uh, it's a continuous uh, cumulative evaluation system. It's not like only that, you know, you pass the entrance and you're through and you didn't study anything in high school. Mm -hmm. So that's really good that, you know, your high school examination, uh, like high school marks are taken in, your uh, entrance exam examination marks are taken in, your other uh, parts are, uh, other parts of your application are taken in as well. Mm -hmm. and what are the formal needs for making the application? Like uh, uh, motivation letters, SOPs, LORs? Yes, yeah, so these documents are uh, submitted by like just an electronic format. Okay. You submit them, send them to the faculty and if you're accepted like then the next procedure will okay. follow. Of course, then you will need also to pay the the tuition fees. Okay, uh, the link will uh, the we will add the link to all these uh, obviously um, you know application and everything in the description. But especially if you need help with like paperwork consultation, which university to choose, and especially like how to prepare for the exams. Okay, uh, what to expect, what not to expect. Do contact Mr. Peter because he is really uh, informed about uh, universities and medical studies in Europe in general. Uh, Mr. Peter, would you like to add some uh, other? Information information which will be like interesting for our viewers yeah definitely so the this faculty has also many hosting uh, professors so okay. it means for example some professor from Serbia or from different university in uh, Bosnia 
come and teach uh, at uh, faculty. So some subjects might not have the standard format as, uh, for example, at uh, university you might be having like each week two classes and one practical. But in this case, you might be having a block uh, teaching. Okay. It means one or two weeks you have just intensive education of one subject. Okay. At the end of this uh, intensive course, you will then write the final exam from the from the subject. All right, all right, makes sense. That's uh, that's actually quite interesting. So, uh, hope you guys uh, like um, try and apply for the university. We are looking forward uh, to like getting more applications uh, for the university and hope you like the video most of the agencies are mostly aiming for their profits but uh, you need a holistic guide who guides you without concerning his profits more about like which is good for your career based on your budget based on your uh, professional goals uh, careeristic uh, academic goals as well and that's something like mr peter can provide you hope you liked the video uh, enjoyed it do like it share it subscribe to our channel for more such content and if you're studying uh, planning to study uh, medicine uh, in europe uh, do comment what are the next topics or universities or countries that you would like us to cover thanks for watching until next time see you Bye-bye.